1988, a detailed inquiry by Admiral William Fogarty into the shooting down of Iran Air 655 concludes that the captain and crew of the USS Vincennes acted properly in the face of what they believed was a threat to their ship. But investigative journalist Roger Charles is not convinced. He reads a copy of the Fogarty Inquiry and wonders why it contains no map showing Vincennes' position. I knew the fact that there was no such chart in the Fogarty Report, again, was a signal, and a curious signal to me. Why is it not there? Skipper, you better come down. Sounds like the Montgomery's got her nose in a beehive. I'll be right there. When Captain Rogers first hears that Iranian gunboats are harassing merchant shipping, the Vincennes is well south of Montgomery and destined for port in Bahrain. Gulf Sierra, this is Vincennes. Request permission to support USS Montgomery against surface contacts. Over. Rogers asks Captain Richard McKenna, his surface commander, for permission to turn north to support Montgomery. But McKenna only authorizes him to send his helicopter to investigate. Roger that. Vincennes out. Vector in Ocean Lord. But Captain McKenna is later startled to discover that Vincennes has turned and is closing in on Montgomery's position. He orders him to leave the helicopter in place and turn back immediately. Uh, even though they were assigned another station, they took it upon themselves to be there. And um, to that extent, I feel that you know, I mean, that's, that's where the, the, the general feeling, and not, not just my own, comes that maybe they were looking for trouble. Jesus! Twin Eagle Lord, this is Ocean Lord, 2 5. But once the Iranian gunboats fired upon Vincent's helicopter, the situation changed. Close Ocean Lord's position. The rules of engagement now allow Captain Rogers to respond with force. Set general quarters. Officer of the he is now authorized to head off in hot pursuit of the gunboats. But where does that lead him? In 1990, Roger Charles obtains a copy of a restricted report on the destruction of IR-655 by the International Civil Aviation Organization. It gives Vincennes coordinates. When Charles plots them on a chart, he makes a startling discovery. At the time of the shootdown, Vincennes is over four kilometers inside Iranian territorial waters. By chasing the gunboats back into Iranian territory, Rogers inadvertently places his ship directly in the flight path of Iran Air 655. If Rogers had not taken uh, the Vincennes up to uh, attack the gunboats, uh, there would have been no shootdown of IR-655. I mean, that's clear. There would have been no ongoing surface action. Rogers would have had his radar screen set for the air side of things. Uh, the focus would have only been on uh, the air picture. Uh, they would have had plenty of time to um, make a proper determination that this was a commercial airliner. Despite the tragedy, the crew of Vincennes receives a hero's welcome on their return to port in San Diego. Any ship in the Navy is a multi-mission ship. Captain, do you wish to engage the target at 20 miles? Lieutenant Commander Scott Lustig is awarded a Navy Commendation Medal for his ability to maintain his poise and confidence under fire. Take order, track 4131. Captain Rogers receives the Legion of Merit for his performance as commanding officer of Vincennes. Both men have since retired from the Navy. Every year, the families of those who died on Iran Air 655 commemorate their loss in the Persian Gulf. For Hussein Rezaian, the brother of Flight 655's captain, time has not healed the wounds. I still feel the same way. And although I try to keep myself busy, you know, to think about it, because it's still, uh, it's, <clears throat> I mean, it's an unforgettable human tragedy. Even after 17 years passed, the horrors of uh, uh, <clears throat> what went on in that uh, 
in that day, you know, still, uh, still lingers on in everybody's life. In a world where technology grows ever more sophisticated, fear, the most basic of human instincts, can still create the greatest tragedies. The world's only daily science show with Jay Ingram and Zaya Tong. Daily Planet, coming up next.